characters, they're able to take over the world, or at least that's what they think. So the, the, uh, the Hydra itself is split into four independent sectors. The international corporations, and they use legitimate businesses to conceal their illicit activities. They use government assets. They use, you know, individuals within the chain of command. And they, they'd like to do it not in the administrations, but they do it in the bureaucracies because there's very little turnover in the bureaucracy. Then they use global criminal groups, and those are for the short-term goals, also used to deflect unwanted interest from global law enforcement community. So they are they're in bed with really bad oligarchs and uh, criminals. And then intelligence agencies. They use the government's intelligence agencies to be able to know exactly what's going on all around the world. Now, why would I bring up Hydra? What does Hydra have to do with the impeachment hearings this week? A lot. A lot. Because this is revolving around Ukraine. And as we told you in our last special, when we started looking into Ukraine, we found some things that we didn't expect to find. Yes, we found corruption. It's Ukraine. Yes, we found uh, Burisma. And in just implausible story about Joe Biden and his son, that it was completely innocent and that Joe Biden knew nothing about this. Well, Joe Biden didn't need to. Joe Biden was over there to break up the, the national gas and oil companies and restructure. So all he had to do was just start hammering all of the infrastructure of oil and gas and have his son on the board of directors of one company. And of course, everybody's going to look at that in a corrupt nation and go, oh, I see how this works. Okay, so if his son is over on the board of directors of that one, that one is the chosen winner. Because that's what corrupt governments do. They pick and choose winners and losers. So you didn't really have to be in cahoots with anything. You just have to have your son known to be on that board of directors. And, of course, all the government contracts will go there because everybody wants more from the United States. Because all we were providing were blankets. They're fighting Russia. We're providing blankets.